Here is the world's biggest egg, and here is one of the smallest. I'm hatching three to see which one makes the best pet, but as they grew, so did the problems. I lost my space, my sleep, and my sanity, but I didn't realize this would be the most expensive, dangerous, and emotionally draining video I've ever made. I can't do this anymore. To pull this off I ordered 10 ostrich, 20 duck and 100 quail eggs. Each one needs their own incubator, but it didn't take long until the very first quail are beginning to hatch. Some struggle, but it's only a matter of time, the world just got a little louder. The hatching was easy, but I'd soon be facing the chaos, the stress and the danger I didn't see coming. But for now, the quail are impossibly small. Look at this, I'm a dad. Barely bigger than a coin and lighter than a piece of pasta. I'll be raising them to adulthood, along with the duck and ostrich, but I moved them into their brooder because a duck is about to hatch, you can see it just barely moving. He takes his first breath of air, piece by piece the shell began to split, it now just hangs by a thread. Welcome to the world little one, but he has no idea of the journey he was about to face ahead. But unlike the quail, they will bond to the first moving thing they see. It is usually their mother, but in this case, it is me. Six of them hatched, and only one egg remained. They follow me absolutely everywhere. Oh my god, there's no way. Even places I'd wish they hadn't. Oh, they literally would not leave my sight, and will look up to anyone who is human. This is crazy. Oh my god. Hi. Hey. You just pecked my face. But a single duck is bigger than all the quail combined. Oh my god. They all think he's their mom. But not even 20 duck are equal to a single ostrich egg. It was time to see if it was even alive. Oh my god. Dude. There's a freaking ostrich in here. They could hatch any day now, but my home isn't exactly made for ostrich farming. Yet. This might work. We ordered enough supplies to turn my entire office into the perfect nursery. The ducks will be the first ones to call this home. What are you doing? But they can't survive without their mom. Oh my god, this is day two of living with the ducklings. And they cannot fall asleep without me. And the quail aren't perfect either. No, this one couldn't figure out how to walk. What's going on with you? I feel so bad. This is called splayed leg. That's not good. If we don't do something soon, he may never walk again. Oh my god. But if I take a band-aid, cut off a slice and wrap it around his legs, then it may give him a chance. Only time will tell. But three days later, a duck was still stuck in an egg. And this was no normal duckling. He is almost completely black. Up until now every duck has been identical. If they think he's different they may kill him, but I didn't have time to find out. An ostrich is beginning to hatch, it is the thickest shell in the animal kingdom, and strong enough to hold over 200 pounds, yet one by one they begin to break free, they must do this on their own. If I interfere, it could kill the chick. Their cry is almost prehistoric, but their legs are even more so. They are the last living dinosaurs, and this one is a living proof. Others began to hatch as well, but raising them will be unlike anything you've ever seen. My god! Hi! But our black duckling was ready to meet the others. Welcome home! They didn't realize he is their sibling, he is trampled and attacked from every side. Oh my god, they're pecking on you! Ducklings can rarely survive on their own, and he needs to bond with the others. So I had an idea. The laser gives them something else to attack, and for the first time, they work as a team, but after an hour I still can't tell if they accept him. They were so exhausted that it was time for a nap. And that's where it happened. He is now part of their family, he is one of their own. But did the quail finally learn how to walk? He definitely looks better than before, but I would have to take off the bandage to find out. Look! Oh. My. God. It. Worked. Look at him go. Hi. But the baby ostrich also have to learn to walk. They aren't much different from a toddler, anything more than a few steps is just too much for them. But one ostrich is just a little dumber than the rest. We decided to name him Peanut, but they will get over 300 pounds each. We can only hope they will stay this way. And by day 10, the ducks had to learn how to swim. Oh my god. Look at them go. Their feathers act as a natural life jacket. Oh my god. My babies. They grew so much. Look at them all. Hi guys. Hi guys. But since they are still babies, their feathers are not waterproof. Oh my god. This one's shaking. In the wild their mother will keep them dry, but for quail, water doesn't do the trick, instead, they take dust baths, 
It looks strange at first, like they're making more of a mess, but the dust kills any parasites that may be in their feathers, but they were starting to grow wings and will soon learn how to fly. The ostrich, however, have finally learned how to walk, but they haven't learned how to think. Look at this one. He's been pecking at the wall for two hours. What is he doing? I have no idea what he's thinking, but probably not much. They don't understand the concept of food. They will try and eat anything, even if that means the $5,000 camera. What is going on? This is crazy. Some of them have figured out how to drink, but Peanut. Oh no 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 no. What are you doing? What? Get out of there. Are you kidding me? Uh, this is your own fault. Hello? The blow dryer managed to trip the breaker. But even with all their problems, they have never failed to amaze me. They are the most affectionate animals I've ever owned, especially Peanut. Within two weeks the ducks had grown too big to live inside, so we constructed a massive fence so they could finally learn how to hunt. In the wild, bugs make up a large part of their diet. So how about a wasp nest? The wasps themselves are too dangerous but their larvae make a far better meal. This is a healthy snack but the sun is the real threat, they overheat rather quickly and panting is a sign of stress. Come on guys. Come on guys. So I made them a water park. And as it turns out, I wasn't invited to the after party. But in the ostrich pen, something is wrong. Peanut isn't moving. Come on buddy. Please, please, just a little longer. It is 2 in the morning, and the nearest vet is over an hour away. We had no choice but to bring him in. An infection has taken hold, and only now has it decided to strike. But it is just too much for his little body. The vets did everything they could, but he didn't make it th th through the night. I'm, I'm so sorry. This is the one thing they don't tell you about ostrich farming. But during the seven days he was with us, he brought more joy, hope, and love than any animal I've ever owned. Nature may be cruel, but it can also be full of surprises. And that very night, the birds couldn't stop calling my name. Oh my god, I just want to go to bed. They're all convinced I'm their mother. Oh, not my ear, please. I love you guys, but this is just too much. They can't go more than an hour without me. Look at them all. In contrast, the quail grew more independent with age. No, no, no. Unfortunately, they had all learned how to fly. No. Now they are fully feathered and fully grown. Oh. Oh my. The ducks, however, have grown way too big for the bath. Oh my god. Hussy! This is the moment I realized they don't belong in my home. Oh my god. The bath quickly became a swamp. They're biting my feet. They're trying to eat my feet. We need to find a better solution. I mean, what could we use that's bigger than this? Fortunately, I had the perfect thing. So not to brag, but this is probably the coolest thing I've ever done. But that's when it hit me. They weren't babies anymore. None of them were. They don't belong here. Freaking disaster. I can't do this anymore. I barely sleep. I haven't shaved and the house smells awful. But there is a place that's willing to take them. The only catch. They are over 20 hours away. Time for a road trip. I'm taking them to one of the greatest animal rescues in the country, run by someone I'm proud to call my friend. Welcome to the Urban Rescue Ranch. What's up, Ben? Oh, this place is a sanctuary to many forms of life. From an actual bobcat, oh my god, to the nicest foxes you've ever seen. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. My quail were the first to hatch, and now the first to call this place home. And the ducks? Well, they got an entire pond to themselves. Oh. Welcome home guys, and the ostriches will get to roam free on over 3 acres of land, and in only a few years time, they will look like this. Soon, they will have babies of their own, and the cycle will continue all over again.